Hello again. This is another project on new antenna with new dimensions. And thanks to a couple of my subscribers, I got some new information about dimensions of a new LoRa antenna. And let me start with the end. You know, let's check the tuning of this antenna. Evidently, I need a, a adapter. And by the way, this is a homemade and I'll show you someday how to make your own adapters. Any kind of adapter. Okay, so uh, here we are. Let, let me take this off. It's too bright for this guy. Recall number four. And here we have the new antenna. Well, it's not perfect. 800. And let's go to 868. You see, we are right here. It's a little bit down tune. 861. But it's pretty good also in 868 area. Much better than uh, the last uh, design. Okay, so that's been said. Let's go and open it up and show you how I did all this. You'll have the schematic at the end of the video. And uh, if you have a little bit of soldering skills, shouldn't be any problem to do this new project. Okay, so there we are. These are the steel, there, these are the old elements from the original 917 um, megahertz antenna. What I have to say here in this area, I attached a ring of copper of around four millimeters, and then nice and slowly. I took it to the right dimensions and that should be the first one it's 80 and the next three ones are 82. So rule number one, make it longer and then nice and slowly just fill uh, down all the extra material to the right dimensions. Something else to say, this first segment here, the thin one, it's 10 centimeters. Of course, I had to cut the original. So what I did, I just attached a piece of telescopic antenna. And luckily, it was fitting almost perfect. All right. You see the tubes here, the extra copper. You have to make it nice and smooth. Same story here. This is shorter than it used to be before. Uh, I was lucky that I had all these elements from the antenna before. And like I said, 82, 82, 82 and 80. That's the difference. Uh, something interesting also from the middle of the hole here to here we have 16 millimeters. So consider the middle of the hole. It's very important where the hole is. The other one was here in this position and we had like evidently for 950. And we had like uh, now it's covered with uh, 
soldered uh, wire. And we have like 15, oh, it's, I don't even, s oh, it's here, okay. So we had like 15 millimeters. Okay, this one went to 16, a little bit higher. Okay, so that's how the, you know, the rings are looking. I used a piece of copper. I found it around my bench and uh, then solder it very, you can solder very strong and then slowly, nice and easy, using a file, get it back to the right dimensions. Okay, and then uh, you need to use this uh, sandpaper to smooth everything to the right uh, touch, you may say. It has to be nice and thin. Okay. So that's it for the new project. Like I said before, it's working great. Okay, here I have a little bit of extra soldier. Let me take it down as long as I'm here. Well, it needs uh, like three, four hours of working. It's not a simple project, but I can tell you the result is absolutely okay because these dimensions are from real, real famous antennas. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about the schematic because here is something we have to clear. First of all, this one and this one, they are connected together. So this is zero ohms. Evidently, this is a spacer of one millimeter, but it's also a galvanic, or how can I say, an, an isolation. So these two, if we measure, it will be zero. I mean, the small, the thin tube, it's connected in here somewhere. Can do like this. If we, if you look, Okay, let's say this is the end of the tube. And the, here is a plastic, this plastic uh, support or something. Let's say this is plastic. And this one here, it's a kind of, uh, piece around metal and the thin tube it's connected to this metal something so uh, somehow it's how can I say it's a kind of M shape or T shape like this tau yeah. right so you got uh, I think you understand the idea and again, this one with this one, and of course the thin layer, I mean the thin tube here, they are also connected. So if you measure here to here, it's zero. It's here the same. This one here, it's by itself. itself. This one here, it's by itself. So it's not connected anywhere but to the middle because inside here A and this one goes to A. So all around the antenna
from let's say 16 millimeters here through the middle we have a wire evidently isolated wire and in fact it's the middle of a coaxial cable any cable I mean uh, as long as it fits inside the tube Okay, so I have all this wire from, from the output to this hole here. If we measure this one with the output, we have zero ohms. Okay, so this one, these two are together. One, two, three, they are together. This one is separate, but it's tied to the antenna output through the wire inside okay so i just uh, let you know the dimensions it's up to you if you have enough patience and skills to modify anyway finally what i can say it's worth it okay thank you for now see you soon with some other projects and don't forget to have fun bye bye <music>